Okay guys, so welcome to another episode of uh, Lair Layers of Fear 2. I remembered again that I have this game. Uh, and it never ceases to amaze me. It's so perfect. Uh, you know those classic horror games? Most of them are kind of the same old recipe over and over again that has been used ever since the beginning of uh, movies actually, of cinema. It's just, uh, you know, jump scares, moody atmosphere, and uh, basically a scary, spooky um, story behind some kind of horror story, unsettling things, you know, children being killed somebody who died in the house um, over and over and over and over and over again the same things and you know after watching tens of probably even hundreds of uh, horror movies you kind of get bored it's just like a, a point and click game and this one uh, it's the first one I see that actually goes uh, See, this is why, coming as a gamer, I don't give a nit, I don't know what that is, uh, about FPS, I don't care how smooth it is, I don't care about owning the latest graphics card, and the, there were games that were so good that I actually played them a few years ago, I had a laptop, it didn't work very well. I had to bring resolution down somewhere like 800 by 600, you know, with like 10 or 20 FPS, you know, rescaled on an LCD. It looks like crap, but the, the, the gameplay and the story and the, the feeling are so immersive that you can play them on a smartwatch with 10 FPS. I mean, it doesn't matter. And this is what this game does. It's all about psychology. Things like, uh, you know, expecting to be somewhere. There is somewhere else. Um, being chased by that creature, which is an incredible, incredible, uh, exact copy of that thing you see in the nightmares. It's that thing. It's the first time I see it materialized into something in this world you know and that thing coming after you you lock yourself into a room that you have no escape from uh, there's no escape there's a single door it comes for you the only way you can get rid of it is if you crouch in a corner just stay low hoping can that same feeling you know you get in your dreams like covering yourself with a blanket and then it goes away, and the only way out is through that same door where it came in. That's... You don't even need a screen. I can just tell you the story, and I think you already feel <laughs> the horror of this game. It's amazing how good they are taking care of this aspect. Most of it is black and white. It's... Uh, I don't even... You know... It's not about what you see, it's about what you feel, and they do this so well. And without further ado, let's get started. I'm not going for a flu. Oh, for a flu? Certainly not in this time. Um, I'm not going for a full uh, beginning to end gameplay. I'm just recording as I progress in the game, you know, so there will be uh, portions skipped if at some point I'll uh, get a feel for it uh, I might do a full gameplay you know like through a walkthrough if you want just take a look at this thing you, you look around you're looking for something you can relate to for something uh, um, a point in time in space uh, a landmark something you recognize you you look for a for something to hang on to, to your sanity, you know, you have these 
I don't know what even they are watches indicators. There's nothing written. They're all going randomly all around. There's nothing, you know, it's all psychology. Just tell me you don't get the creeps just by looking at this. You know, you f can feel there's something wrong. This shouldn't exist, and yet it's right next to you, and you're walking past a hundred items like this. Darkness. Ah, uh, okay, let's see. I have a feeling that... Um, where do... Straight ahead. I'm gonna go full speed ahead. How else? <laughs> From Chief Security Officer to whom it may concern it, I have been informed that some of the crew had voiced their misgivings about the new rationing policy. Let me remind you that it was introduced as a direct result of misconduct occurring aboard this ship. I cannot stress this enough. Theft will not go unpunished. Okay, that's... I'm gonna get scared, I know. See, I don't. What they? What do they want from me? What is this feeling? To go back? Can I go back? Should I go back? No, this is locked. I'm locked here. Anything to do with these watches? The last few levels were uh, a little bit about puzzles and a little bit more creepy atmosphere. <sighs> that was speaking about theft and food disappearing. And the inventory in this game is not like the usual. You cannot use, you cannot look at items unless uh, you're actually in front of the thing that you need them for. So, there's something that is controlled. I, I don't know. Can I just try all the other? It has all kind of these mind games like you can kind of try and focus on this thing right here if we're talking about this situation. And then you realize that with each position, the surroundings change, and there's also... If I were to think about other games, I'd say that was I can't kind of jump. That would have been an escape. Some game like half life but... Inside the entrance, and I'm, I'm going back. It's playing with your mind in unbelievable ways. You know, like, like in games like Half Life, you kind of have those maps. Uh, I don't even know if it's possible to actually draw a map of this thing. You, you cannot do that because it's. 
it's all just a big illusion, there's no... It's ever-changing. And that makes sense, since it has, I think, three different endings. It's kind of all dynamically generated, based on uh, your decisions. I kind of feel sorry I don't hear much of the game now, because I don't have uh, I need an extra cable on my headphones. So I kind of use one long jack extension and I plug either my headphones or this microphone. And as I've heard, there are some clues and sounds of things you should look for. This one's empty too. We need to keep looking. Lily, I mean, Captain, there's something out there. In the dark. Hush now. Stay behind me. Oh boy. I this won't let anything scary. happen to you. Okay. I'll probably die in the next few seconds. Should I look behind me? Oh, what the hell? If I learned something from the previous levels, it's to close the damn doors behind me. Blinky light means trouble. Um, one great thing to do is to run straight towards it. Kind of see what happens. <laughs> thing is where did I just go <laughs> uh, so as I said blinky light means uh, trouble I don't know what I did just don't look <laughs> horror game I want to be scared not to solve mazes or uh, puzzles
guess I have to go back. This type of behavior in games that uh, really annoys me, and uh, I instantly deleted. Uh, what was that? How they call it? It's that famous "You Died" game. Dark Souls, I think. You know, because I don't know, doing the same thing over and over again and dying and I'm dying and dying. That's it's that's not a game for me. It's you know I want to enjoy the game. You know at least if you figure out what you have to do. So I see this guy. The game is ruined for me because I went from being scared to being annoyed and doing the same thing over and over again and not finger not figuring out what I have to do and that's just uh, it's like going from I don't know from a shooter to Candy Crush. Yet yeah, why? I don't know. It's I just want to be scared, guys. No, okay. I'm not getting This time I'm going straight. I want to know. Uh, maybe if I'm fast enough, I can lose him. I just want to figure out where exactly I need to go because it might be random. It's gonna be, you know, fun for the 
Let's try mobile search. I'm supposed to like the layers. No, bad idea. <sighs> I'm doing it. So, layers of fear. I generally don't do this, but I told you I hate sequences like this. I'm I'm not playing sequen I'm I'm not playing like this. So uh, no, these were just walk through my guide. James, I said leave it. I think I don't know. I've been here. I've been here. Something further in. There is no other way. No. Your. What the hell? Stay behind me. Okay. I won't let anything happen to you. Okay. Here we go. Do what? Go ahead. He's running. Yeah, let's uh, try and do that. What do you say? The scare is there. I got. I'm terrified, but uh, don't do that. Just there's no reason for that in, in a horror game. Sorry, not my thing. Okay, what does this say? Such an opportunity, such responsibility to unleash what has been trapped for so long. I can hear it howling, rattling its cage, dying to get out. Yep, sounds like my stomach in the morning. I need that omelette. Or else... this game. 
came on YouTube. So there's amazing texturing. But I guess it was time. After all these years. Maybe there's no need to touch that projector and I should just walk away unharmed. How does that sound? Nope. You really want to harm me. These surfaces are amazing. Wow. This looks like a real ceiling. What's up, kid? Can you not kill me this time? Oh, I get it. It must be a door somewhere. Because usually there's a door. Oh, yeah. Okay, thanks, I guess. There's some chalk. Probably now I can get out this door. No. It's not that easy, is it? No, 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 no. Usually when that discoloration of the head occurred, something weird was going on. behind towards the light as I learned In the darkness towards more light where and what and what's going on here my tunnels is it see all these meaningless maze and rooms that have no would have no purpose in real life and all this filth and decay and oh man Mr. Hardy, we're not that desperate yet. 
James, I said leave it. Nice. Hey, darling. Wait. <laughs> destroys the balance. A heavy cost. See? What did I tell you? Get out of the room, get back to the cell in the same room. All lives are created equal. Created equal. I can the life of one cannot wait. Yeah. The lives of many. When everything is at stake, Recording. the lives not anymore. Reason becomes weakness. Trust your instinct. Really bad advice to give in a horror game. My instinct is to shut down my computer and go cry in a corner. Oh, there's the flying static -y thing again. Oh, well. Instinct or reason. Sometimes I think that's related. Tip the scale. Take reason poisons your mind, makes you weak. To be honest, it's really that simple in a life and death situation. There's a uh, kind of little space left for reason and the thinking. Oh, am I supposed to do something now? I thought it was just a, an end scene for my. I don't even know where I'm going. You pray on the weak. Your belly grows full. You take what's not yours. Your heart grows... You feed on misery. Your soul grows weak. They said to look for stuff when you hear voices. Kind of like secret rooms, secret dungeons, secret there's nothing in here. It's not. No, 
Now what is this supposed to be? A little bee baby. Quite obviously not gonna make sense. Oh, don't do that, please. Story time. Proof coins. What the hell? It's no good. We'll never find any food. James, look at me. And it's all my fault. I said, look at me. I am Captain Baines, the Black Wanderer, the Slayer of the Cyclops, the Seeker of the Flame. I will see us through this. Don't you ever doubt me. Boop. Okay. It looks like crap anyway. Who would want this? The chalice that means death. There's got to be another way here. I learned something, but uh, you know how the human instincts are, right? Gotta see that thing. Just uh, leave it alone. Check it out. Let's see what's going on with it. So, I guess all the coins were dead fish. Nice! By the looks of it, dead rotten fish. Checkpoint. Hmm, oh, what's in here? More crazy clocks. Some food here. Come on, we have to go. Oh. Did you hear that? This way. James, run. I said run, I ran. What's the problem here?
good. I kind of feel the fire is much more recomforting than that beast. See what I'm talking about? What am I even supposed to do here? <laughs> Is this a pause? Like one of those, you know, you have to wait, take a step. Instantly fried. Oh, come on. No. See again an element that has nothing to do with a horror game, it's just one of those obstacle courses. That's a bad thing. That's definitely some uh, negative points there. Why am I supposed to build something like this? This is the moment I would... No! Oh, come on! Okay, 
so it's not over. Gotta watch out for the square openings. It's not far. This way. And I am climbing this ladder, I guess. What am I supposed to do about that thing? Oh, I gotta electrocute this guy. He's sitting in a bathtub full of water. There you go, buddy. That's shocking. Done with the flames. I'd rather have faces on the words. It's a buddy. Watch out! Something's coming! You need to keep moving. You're almost there. Just a bit further. There it was. ID. 
bloody roots. Back in my room, and I think this was at two. Anything else there? Probably. Nice. I'm gonna explore them at a later time. That's all for now. This was Act Two of Layers of Fear Two. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.